Welcome to Zion National Park. My name is Colton Winder. Saddles, such as the one next to me, were vital tools to the early Mormon ranchers in Zion. This saddle belonged to my great-grandfather. Today, I'd like to tell you a story about his father, John Winder. Many of the pioneers in Zion owned livestock. These animals would graze in Zion Canyon in the winter. In the summer, they grazed on the east rim of Zion. However, this summer range was very difficult to reach. Zion Canyon's 2,000 foot high cliffs of sandstone made a direct route impossible. So to reach these grazing lands required a lengthy trip into Arizona and back up through the coral pink sand dunes. A distance of nearly 100 miles to reach grazing lands that were only seven miles from Zion. John Winder solved this problem. Growing up, he spent a lot of time exploring the East Rim. He knew of a cliff face above Weeping Rock, where the Native Americans had carved handholds in centuries past to gain access to the rim. He began to believe that a path for livestock could be made in this same area. In 1896, at age 23, he convinced other ranchers to provide money for dynamite and tools to carve a livestock trail through Echo Canyon, near the Native American Trail. It started at a point where the Virgin River made a large bend in the canyon, so it was referred to as the Big Bend Trail. The ranchers now had a shortcut to their summer range. John used the Big Bend Trail as much as anyone, and locals often called it John's Back Door, as it ended here, near his ranch on East Zion. When Zion became a national park, it was among the first trails developed for hiking, and is now called the East Rim Trail. The cowboys may be gone, but John's trail still provides access to the East Rim for thousands of visitors every year, and is a beautiful hike. John Winder played a role in Zion's history that is as colorful as the cliffs surrounding us. His love of Zion has carried over to his descendants today. I hope that you too can come to love Zion National Park and treasure this gem of southern Utah.